Hello, my lovely new and seasoned friends. Have I got a treat for you today. Do you see this book? Do you recognize this amazing artwork? Do you recognize this amazing, amazing, amazing artist? Come on, focus on her lovely name, Danny Banani. This is a new book from Danny Banani, Fun Unusual Suspects on Instagram. You have seen me share colored pages from her coloring books out here um, in 2022, was it? Can't remember. Or was it 2021? I completed her first mandala book. And now she has this one, which guess what? It is available in stores. Yes. There's going to be a whole new audience that's going to stumble upon her and realize why we colorists love her. And this book is available on Amazon. So I'm here to show you the book, do a flip through, and maybe I got some surprises for you. You're going to have to keep watching to figure it out. And yeah, I like I said, I am so excited. I have been a fan for a long time. I follow her on Instagram. She has the best office assistants with four paws um, and a little bit of snarky attitude and loving. Anyway, follow her. And she does amazing not only coloring books, she makes stickers and bookmarks and her stickers sets are amazing. I have a envelope here I had ordered and I haven't been able to show it to you yet. I'm going to try and do like a show um, a little mini haul from her, but this is what we're here today. So what do I have in front of me? This is Kawaii Mandala Coloring Book 32 Super Cute Designs That Bring Joy and Happiness by Danny Banani. Of course, would I be prepared? No. <laughs> um, to show you the size, I thought I had a ruler at my desk, but I don't. So let's just show you in comparison here you go. This is your standard eight and a half by 11 coloring book. And you can see, I am going to guess this is an eight by eight, which I love the square books for mandalas because mandalas are usually square and then there's not a lot of um, wasted space. So there's some really cool things in this book. Let me just dive in. By the way, I welcome new and seasoned friends. Did I tell you where you're at? You're at Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I am a hot mess, but you guys already know that. Um, so it is your shiny, as you can see, cover. Typical cardstock. Cover coated. Let's look at the back here. And you can see here is the price. And I will put the link um, to the, where if you want to buy it on Amazon, um, I will link that to the U.S. Amazon, but it's $9.99 or $13.99 Canadian. Fox Chapel Publishing is who is the publisher, and they are amazing. I've been chatting with them. So we have uh, definitely agree with Tanya McArdle. Danny's book is a delightful journey into a world of adorable mandala designs that effortlessly spark creativity, relaxation as you color. So I'm not going to read all of this to you, but gives you a couple of the titles of some of the mandalas. And as we go through this, you'll see some of them, if you have her other coloring books, are also found in there. I think there's a couple new designs in here and she titles all of them and she is super punny and I love it. So um, the names will go through and here's a little info as far as just um, from Danny. You don't need to be a trained artist, but so let's take a look. There are a lot of features in this book that made me so excited. So here we go. Kwai Mandala. We are going to just crack her open. So I love the color within the book. In fact, I'm going to let you see right here. We'll go through them. But like this, all of these are in color, printed in color. Now, I'm just telling you that for 10 bucks and to have this in color, like printed stuff, like with samples, is amazing. So yeah, there's a bunch of like colored glossy pages in here. Um, there's an about this book section, about kawaii, about mandalas, tells you about 
all of those. I also like the little blurb here about the artist. Um, and she is based in the Pacific Northwest. It's been a decade ago, she and her partner, Trevor, oh my gosh, I have to talk to you about that name, Danny, <laughs> um, decided to strike out of their own with a variety of Kauai-styled stationery products, paper goods, and coloring books. And I am just so glad that um, I have found her. So here's your first page. And then what I find interesting, so I have seen this in other books a lot of times. Um... I know a lot of Japanese coloring books will have it, and I think it's the design original. So I should check. I, I should have checked this before, but you know me. I just like off the cuff. And um, yeah, design originals also does it. I could have had like had an example. Oh, I also need to disclaim immediately because again, I should have done the beginning. I did receive this as a um, gift from Danny through her publisher. So I will, you know, let you guys know that it was just sent to me for review and to share with all of you. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Although had I seen it on Amazon, which I can't believe I haven't seen it on more channels yet because it's out there and it only has one review. So we need to fix that. So what I do like also is if you are like new to coloring or new to mandalas, anything like that, I love a good little information how to um, coloring. You know, you can use whatever you want. We got colored pencils and gives you some tips on those. Talks about markers um, to do any like blending. Again, you can use these are going to be single sided I when I show you. But um, here, as she says, if sometimes even water base might bleed through. So you always want to use a blotter page. If you are a seasoned friends, you know, one of my favorite mediums to color with is. Yep, you got it nail polish. It's like a built-in. It's got a brush, easy to paint, quick dry. I love it. Danny, you didn't include nail polish on here, but that's okay. She also gives examples about um, how to use different gel pens and how it looks and some tips. Hello, can we say smudged? Do it all the time. And crayons. Who doesn't love a good crayon? I use crayons. I use all of these media in different is it media or mediums in different <laughs> media? So there's a little how to's. I'm not going to read you that. Also gives you just a two page summary on basic color theory. This can sometimes be confusing, but if you're ever looking, it kind of talks about if you're trying to like find coordinating colors, tells you all that, gives you the technical names behind it. And you can read all that when you buy this book. Shows you some techniques for shading. This I always find because I'm pretty much always just like try and use the same color. Well, there's different ways to do it. You could use a black or gray. You could do some tr um, cross hatching, highlighting. Again, a lot of informational stuff in this book, which is amazing. So talks about blending, blending with wet tools or dry tools. And then this is one of my favorite parts of the book. Has to be, actually, it's probably my favorite part. There are examples of colored by Danny mandalas. Now, I am the one when I'm coloring them, I'm like scouring Instagram, trying to find inspiration. Sometimes we use a palette. So to have these <laughs> available to me is flipping amazing. Um, did I tell you that there's 32 different designs in here? So here we have these two, which I'm pretty sure are both in her original book. Oh, look, it, they are. It does say <laughs> from Koi Mandela. Oh my gosh. And then look, copyright design originals. Maybe that is the same publishing company. Here we have the narwhals. I remember I colored this one for my birthday month. This is one of my all-time favorite of her images, which I think is available as a sticker as well, and I may own it. And the robots, I love a good rainbow color scheme. When in doubt, rainbow. Nothing wrong with a good rainbow <laughs> theme. So this is fun. I remember doing this one and I colored my barns pink. But just the fact that there's these examples is so amazing. And then the sweet treats here. So now let's look at the actual mandalas pages you're going to co color. So here's our first one and it does, it'll tell you, we'll, we'll look together to see if there is a, um, 
different if there's any like new that aren't in her coloring books because she does she has three mandala coloring books out like large size plus she has a mini one so what i like well everything so you have your image which perfectly fits on the page these are now so the front part is all like permanently bonded in there and then once you get to your coloring pages these are perforated so if you wanted to remove them to color or just remove them after you're done to share with a friend or frame you can and then let's check the back side of the page it gives you the name which these are my favorite part is what she names them um, okay, this is hilarious because she doesn't have this little quote in her book. So like this one is called Breakfast Bonanza. You don't have to scramble to finish the, this mandala. It should be over easy. There's even a spot where you can date it and do a colored by it. And I think it's going to be so cool if you are a alcohol marker fiend like myself, when you color this, it's going to like go through and like color in the sun. So there you go. So that's the overall style. And the pages, I should note, are all numbered as well in the bottom right. That's handy if you're trying to arrange buddy colors because if you're trying to be like, let's do this page, you can actually say the page. So here's this. Can you, can you all see it? Do you want me to read all of them? I'm going to just show it like this. So a little... I mean, not that it would have mattered, but it would have maybe been confusing because since the pages could come out. Just because I'm like lazy, I'd be like, oh, I wish the name for this page was right here. But that doesn't work because if I took the page out, it wouldn't make any sense. So I get it. I get it why you did it this way. Um, crafting cute. Oh, interesting. So the back of this one is the sun. This one has some rainbows. Here are the llamas. And then, okay, wonder if it alternates. Now we're back to the sun. Again, these, okay, I would read them to you all, but we'll be here all day. So there's that. This one is adorable. It's all like a boba teas, and we got um, axolotls and penguins and koala. I think that's a koala, or is it just a bear? Uh, <laughs> Or is it an otter in a tree? Seasoned friends. Sorry. You gotta you gotta have been here to know that story. And cats. Anyway, I love cats. Here is the fun barn one. Now this paper, it's a decent, it's better than Amazon printed paper. I don't know what the weight it is, a nice bright white um color. It is not as thick if you have purchased from her Etsy store, her coloring books. Those are printed on actual cardstock, which for the price point, this is still a really great quality paper. Okay, we got the axolotls. Oh, this one's adorable. The mail. Out for delivery. Interesting. This is, I'm just going to read because it's a fun fact. In 2022, the United States Postal Service delivered an average of 421.4 million pieces of mail every day. Be nice to your mail delivery carrier. Okay. And all the office people, too. Okay. Here's our little gnomes. Oh, this is adorable. I haven't colored this one before. I don't know that it's new. It, it is from. I don't know if it's from the same book. Again, I'd have to pull out my books. I just know I haven't colored this one, but I like it. I have colored the sushi one before. That was in the first book. And the movie, I colored this, is in the first book. This is really fun. I love, well, the whole kawaii thing. They have faces and eyes, and it's just all so stinking cute. Oh, and this is in the first book as well. The piggies, super adorable and mushrooms i have not colored this page yet so some of these are fun where they're like it's like a fun fact and then some of the quotes are just um okay this one's funny so this is the mushrooms and then the on the back it says so it's called let's break this down and then some people don't like mushrooms but eventually they grow on you that would be me i do not like mushrooms i don't mind coloring them but i don't like to eat them here is the baking one. I know I colored this page in her first book and I used the wrong markers and I had yellowing. <gasps> There's my favorite page with the cats and the coffee, which are my two favorite things. I think this little guy right here is my favorite image of all time. 
of the cat inside the coffee pot with its paws up against the glass. I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it does. Okay, we've got ice cream page. Oh, this is adorable. These they're the Highland Highland cows, right? I love those cows with like the long, you know, swoopy bangs. <laughs> I don't know why. The dinosaurs. Now here is the first one I've noticed where I don't know if it was the printing or just the placement where you can see the tip of the this is the triceratop um, went right into the gutter there. See that? So at the perforation, just that top little top little tip will get snipped off if you remove that page. And it could be my this copy, or like I said, it could be the placement. It's the first one I've noticed where it ran over the perforation. Oh my goodness, this one was such a busy one. Um, if you remember the examples up front here, she colored it rainbow. I don't remember how I colored mine, but I just know it was a lot of little robot pieces to color. And these are, I was gonna say they're all underwater, but nope, that's an alien that is trying to pretend it is a jellyfish. <laughs> Wonder what it's called. Stings happen. That's funny. Okay, stings happen. Okay, this would be my second favorite is Taco Cat. Um, fun fact, I at one point had plans to get a tattoo of a taco cat with my best friend at the time, but our, we have since parted ways, so we never got that tattoo, but it would have been a good memory if, if I did. So, adorable. Adorable cat. I still like cats and coffee better, but this one's still pretty good. And it is called Cat Treats. Here we have another similar, I think maybe it was the other one, fairies, and these are the gnomes. So this is called Garden Party, or because this has gnomes and rabbits and birds and a uh, um, wheelbarrow, it's a garden thing. Here is a space themed called Great Galaxy. This was a very fun one as well. I like actually tried to make it look realistic. And what is so fun about... Uh, well, any coloring page, it doesn't have to be specific, but it's, for me, Danny's artwork lends it. You can try and be realistic or you can go as crazy as you want and they all come out looking amazing. So it's not like, you know, donuts have to be brown or a certain color. It can be anything. You can make them pink. You can make them purple. Do what you want. I can't believe I'm still going, but I am. We're getting close to the end. We're on page 69. So here's another fun fruity, fruity page called Will You Bury Me? Okay, I'm always trying to think the theme. This is adorable. The sloths are fun. And then we had fruits. Now we have vegetables. And the cacti. I liked this one too. It's called Pokey Pals. And here is the candy page, super colorful and fun. And here are our woodland creatures. We didn't get the um, otter in a tree, but is there an otter in here? Uh, I don't think there is an actual otter, but <laughs> we got that for us, friends. And then, so we had those other pages, and then she also has examples. Some of these are... Like there was the big picture, big page. Let's show you again of the baking one. So some of these look like they're repeated, but I don't think the sloths, were the sloths on here? Nope. So the sloths is kind of a bonus one. And then we are at the end. So what do you guys think? Are you as excited as I am? I'm pretty stinking excited. So, um, Oh, what am I even more excited about? Guess what? Danny, we all know she's amazing. Her publisher, they are also amazing. They have said, I can have not one, not two, three, three of my fun friends, whether you're a new or a seasoned friend out here, that can get a copy of this book as a gift because they're amazing and you're amazing. Couple little things to say. Um, I'm sorry, it only is US only, but, um, and please 
you can only enter once. And the way to enter it is you're going to put in a comment. Now, I don't have like giveaways splashed all over the place. Not that I don't want to promote and think Danny's book is amazing, but I just don't like trolls. Um, Danny, have you done a troll page before? That'd be funny to do like online internet trolls. Okay, I digress. <laughs> You definitely need a squirrel page and you can call it Kathy because I get distracted all the time. Just like, hey, there's a squirrel. So to enter, you do need to have a U.S. mailing address and you need to comment. Please do not comment anything that says giveaway. Please, in your comment, work in the word kawaii. Oh, wait, let's not do that because... I could see myself as misspelling it. Just say mandala. You could say in the in your comments, say my favorite mandala is the taco cats and just leave it at that. And then what I will do is do the, I forget what it's called. There's like a YouTube comment picker type of thing on the website. And I can enter in the word mandala from all the comments and then it will pick the winners. So it'll pick three winners. Today is that I am posting this is April, Thursday, April 18th. So I am going to leave it open until Sunday, which would be, I don't have anything in front of me with the calendar. So Thursdays, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. <laughs> Sorry, it's just me. So... You have until midnight on Sunday, April 21st. I'm going to say midnight central time because that's me anyway. Um, I'm not a big stickler about it, but I will draw for the winners on Monday the 22nd. So just leave a comment with the word mandala. Like I said, feel free to use the sentence my favorite mandala was and then name that page. And then I'm going to be able to send you a copy of the book. Three of you. Three of my friends. Um, so yeah, super excited. But yeah, please don't say like, oh, I'm so excited about the giveaway, blah, blah, blah. Again, we don't want trolls. We want real people that are going to appreciate and love and cherish the book as much as I do. So that's the scoop. I will have this posted, the link direct to Amazon if you are an Amazon shopper. I am curious, I guess, Danny, I forgot to ask you and the publishing folks if you order from Amazon, if it's Amazon printed or if it's just the book. As far as what stores it's available, I don't know. Let's do like a little <laughs> treasure hunt and you guys tell me if you've seen it anywhere because I do not know. The publisher couldn't, can't tell me like who's bought. You know what I mean? Like people buy from them, but they don't know what store it is. So you might have seen it out in the real world already and went, hey, that looks familiar. So it is a little bit different than her others, which do I have one? You know, now season friends are here and we're just chatting. So let me show you because I know I do have it. So here I wanted to show you, I'm going to still do this in another video, but this is this mini, like these are only available on her Etsy shop. But you can see, like, these are that bright white print, and this is from the publisher. And then this is the size of her other books. So you can see the difference. Ugh, there you go. But, sorry. I should have planned that better because those are all in shiny wrap. But I, again, am very excited. Thank you so much, Danny. I love supporting you. Um... I mean, I love, she is very active on Instagram. If you follow Fun Unusual Suspects, she will post like new stickers and they just crack me up. She currently launched another new product called Sticker Bouquets, which made me smile so much, especially the pickle one. And, and I think if you love all things cute, you love things kawaii, I think you'd like it. My overall opinion of the book is yes, more, love it. I do know... You can kind of see the lines are not super, some, they vary. Like these seem a little thicker than maybe that one. And it could be that these were from her first book. And this I know is from a newer one. So it's the style could just be changing a little bit. So I do really like the bolder black lines. I think you'll be able to tell like here it's a little thinner. So you need to be careful if you're using like alcohol markers, but I think this paper feels fairly smooth. It might be good with pencils. 
I'm not a pencil person, so I couldn't tell you, but just so you're aware, or, um, you know, a lot of this, like, real teeny tiny stuff, I would not use an alcohol marker on. I would use, like, a fine liner, um, water-based marker. Gel pens are fun. I use my glitter gel pens on these, but what a nice way to just sit down and color, and there you go. Again, I really loved the front of the book. I thought that was a great idea. Um, yeah, I don't have... Like I said, I don't have much for negatives, but that's pretty hard to do. I love the addition on the back of the little um, fun facts and snippets. So there you go. Once again, thank you for coming by, hanging out with me. I'm so happy to see you. All my seasoned friends, you know, I am super engaged with my job right now, which has limited my availability to post online. But I'm going to try. I might bring some stuff. I'm preparing for another month-long trip where I'll be living out of a hotel. Haven't decided what to bring with me. I think maybe this book will make it. Do some coloring and some other crafting and maybe some filming. Maybe. You guys know. I'm doing the best I can. But that's the scoop. So, I again, leave a comment. Must be from the U.S. Use the word mandala in your comment. You have until... Midnight Central Time on the 21st of April, 2024, I should say, um, to post. And then Monday I will draw and I will try to contact you depending who it is. If it's a seasoned friend, I might be able to contact you on Instagram or if I know of a way. Otherwise, I will respond to your comment. So I do need you to reply to me with your mailing address before Wednesday because Wednesday is when I am heading out for the month. So I think we can do this a little bit of a surprise. I don't do giveaways very often. Um, but I want to thank Danny and the lovely people at Fox Chapel Publishing for sharing with me. Um, again, these are always amazing. Is it just not? I don't know. I'm just excited. Look at how funny that is. I'm like, oh, is it the design original peoples? Seriously, do you guys not see that when I was saying Fox Chapel Publishing? Season friends, you know, you're you're still here because for some reason you like me. I am not professional. I can't believe that Danny actually wanted me to share this because, but she knows. She follows me on Instagram. She chats with me a little bit, comments. She knows I'm a hot mess, but I'm a fun hot mess and I own it. And I love cute, and I love kawaii, and I her she's my vibe. She is my vibe. Oh, Frankie, come say hello. The friends haven't seen you for a while. Okay, friends, what's the most important thing that you need to get out of this video? Okay, well, there's an amazing new coloring book out there. That's pretty amazing. But even more than that is that you need to remind yourself and to know that you matter. It's the most important thing I could possibly tell anyone today. Um, I think it's hilarious that Frankie crashed this because Danny has <laughs> fur babies that similarly help her when it comes to work. But it's Frankie. He's missed you guys too. So yeah, whatever's going on in your life, we're all struggling at times and it's okay. So hang in there. You matter. You make a difference in this world. If there were some possible way that Danny could design a mandala with all of your beautiful faces and somehow to remind each and every one of you how beautiful that face is, it would be, I don't, I don't know, but it would be the most beautiful page I could ever color. I can tell you that because you guys are amazing and I appreciate you. Danny, I know, appreciates you. She is also amazing. I appreciate you, Danny. In case nobody's told you lately, you matter. And everybody over there in Fox Chapel Hill, you guys matter. You truly do make a difference and it is recognized and we appreciate you. So have a great day, my friends. I can't wait to see who ends up getting copies of the book. Maybe we can do a buddy color. I'll bring the book with me on my trip. So I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys.